Hi everyone, it is Drew here from Lone Fox and welcome back to your daily dose of DIY. Um, today is a video that I have never done. It's not a DIY and it's also not a room transformation, which is legit the only two things I've done on this channel, which I need to actually step out of that comfort box because that's kind of what I've been in for a while now. Kind of do other videos. I want to start doing tips, home styling advice, just things like that, like add on to my channel, you know. So today I'm doing a video about 10 hacks to just recreate your space, give it more of an aesthetic, homey, comfortable feeling you know so we all love that vibe when we come home and I just wanted to recreate that in today's video with 10 super easy hacks Before jumping in, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new videos every single week on home decor and just like home styling. Lots of fun stuff over here. There's a subscribe button below, 100% free, and yeah, you might as well just subscribe if you're here, you know. Just do it. I personally hate a cluster of stuff, like a cluster of randomness on a countertop, a cluster of randomness on a dresser, a cluster of randomness on a coffee table. What this hack slash tip entails is just using a tray to sort of consolidate a lot of random items or bits and bobs as I like to call them. So I have a lot of trays around my home. I have one on top of my dresser in my room right here. I could see it. I also have one in my living room that kind of um, houses a little more of like the remotes and like a candle, coasters, things like that on the coffee table. So having trays around is great because you can interchange them. They also come in lots of different finishes you can get like a mirrored tray metal tray wood tray marble tray tons of different types that fit your personal aesthetics but trays can be your best friend so think about having a few on hand whenever you have those cluttered areas Moving into the second, and this one is kind of one based off personal preference. I personally love this hack, but if you don't like it, then feel free to not use it. But my bedding has always been white. I really love white bedding because I think it's a great blank slate to anything. But something that you can really do to really spice up your bedding is to add a patterned sheet. And there are three different types of kind of patterned slash texture sheets I like to go for. They are a ditzy pattern or like a smaller print pattern, a texture such as linen, or a more larger scale pattern. And these are great just to spice up bedding because the base of my bedding is always going to be a big white linen duvet that's just what I personally love but if you want to just add like a little bit of interest go with a fun sheet like you could easily fold over the top and show a little bit of that pattern at the top which I think adds visual interest to the bed and it can also just show a little bit more personality I don't think everything always has to be stark white feel free to go with the most micro print ever I find that Target has a lot of really great bedding pieces or really great sheet sets that include super small prints that are very trendy or super small little like patterns or colors things like that that sort of add a little boost of your own personal touch to your bedding I actually have a video on my channel, which was one of the first videos I ever uploaded where I recreated and made my very own pattern sheet set. I decided to follow a Urban Outfitters looking bedding and created a peach sheet set. That's such a hard word to say, uh, but you can really do whatever you want with this technique. So definitely give it a view. I'll put a card up there somewhere for it. And it was super easy, super simple. And I really love the way that it turned out. I thought it added a nice pop and just like boost of personality to my space. But this next one is all about throw pillows. And this kind of uh, ties back to the last one too by just introducing smaller prints, uh, larger scale prints and textures into your throw pillows. I like to mix the patterns and the prints. So I don't like to have three large scale prints on three throw pillows. I like to sort of mix it up. With black and white, I really feel like you can get away with a little bit more because there isn't really um, competitive colors. So larger larger prints that have like more bold colors aren't gonna like compete against smaller prints. So with black and white, you're kind of free to do whatever you like, I feel. I think mixing shapes and sizes really creates a very um, dynamic and very graphic throw pillow space wherever you're putting it on, whether it be your couch or your bed. And I also recreated a colored version by taking off the graphic sheet underneath because we're going to be creating a lot of graphic and visual interest with the throw pillows. So I pulled that sheet off, kept it very simple and white in the bedding, and then threw on a oversized, more textured pillow. This one's from Urban Outfitters with lots of color in it. And purchasing throw pillows can be a little bit challenging. So next time you're out purchasing some, take pictures of the ones you already have, or if you don't have any, take pictures of the ones you're out shopping. And you can actually collage them together and sort of get a vibe. Are there too many large patterns? Are there too many small patterns? Is there not enough texture? Is there not enough solid blank space? You can kind of get a visual idea of what's going on there and kind of pick and choose which ones you like the best. Next up, we're talking about wall art. And wall art is a huge must, I think, for any space. When you walk into a space, the first thing you're going to notice is visual interest all the way up the wall. And this is what I love when I walk into a space. If your eye is drawn from the floor all the way up, and that might be through wall shelving, bookcases, or just wall art in general. So as you can see, above my couch, there isn't much interest without wall art. There's just a large, empty wall space here. Um, there is a tree off to the left side, which is nice, which kind of adds, again, that heightening effect. But I wanted to add some wall art. But I I want to 
wanted to add some wall art, so what I'm going to be adding are two really oversized prints from Society6. They're both really minimal and graphic. Another reason I love these prints is that they're super lightweight. It's actually not glass on the front, it's like a plexiglass, like plastic material, so it makes it so that when you hang it up, you only need like one tiny nail as opposed to having it anchored in your wall or needing like a couple of nails across the whole backside. And if you can't hang up photos, then feel free to also just layer them. So as you can see here on my desk space, I actually have two very large prints behind my actual computer, which I think again adds that vertical increase of height. If you don't have the opportunity to hang pictures, feel free to also lean them against things, put them on your dresser, layer up with them. Throw blankets are a great thing to have in any space and literally all of my friends know to get me a throw blanket for my birthday or for Christmas if they have no idea what to get me because I love them. I even have a basket system in my living room dedicated to throw blankets. The great thing to do with throw blankets is just to throw them over any empty space. So if you have a lot of open space on your bed, if you have a big open gap on your couch, if you have a chair that's just kind of a little bit bland and boring, spice it up with a throw blanket. This is also great to add more color into your space if you have a color scheme you're going with and you find that you're not using enough blue in your living room space there's just not enough there's just not as much as you wanted go out and purchase a blue throw blanket in your style that you want toss it over the couch and have a bit more of that color scheme added to your space it kind of creates more of an inviting look too like it looks like you're supposed to go sit there you're supposed to go be comfortable and you're supposed to have a good time so I think throw blankets are a mu I think throw blankets are really a must <laughs> taking out your old knobs on your drawers your cabinets whatever it might be in your kitchen your bathroom your desk whatever it is that you have that might be old and outdated or just not very fun and personalized unscrew the old knob it's super simple typically on the back side you can use a screwdriver or just screw off the little bolt on the back and then replace it with a new one and great places to shop for them are anthropology target home depot has more simple ones places like that um you can actually purchase brand new knobs brand new door knobs um they have like pulleys lots of different things that you could purchase from those it instantly customizes the space a bit more than having to stick to the hardware that the person that built the space purchased for it introduce greenery now a lot of people don't like doing this because they don't have a green thumb. I don't either. I had a fiddle leaf fig for like two years. I kept it going strong, but then about a two year mark kind of started dying on me. And I just realized that I could not do it anymore. Like I needed fake plants and I have so many fake plants around my house. And I'm going to try to link a lot of fake plant options below that I think are really great. I have a huge fig tree in my living room. This is from world market. I have a hanging plant in my bedroom. That's from Amazon. I have lots of little like random sprigs of greenery that I found at Michael's craft store. I have a humongous banana leaf that I found at Michael's craft store and putting them on a shelf just brightens up a space but of course real plants are always 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 I think preferred over fake plants they just look a lot nicer they're actually living and they can actually circulate the airflow and make the living space a little bit nicer in case you do not have the best air circulation in your space feel free to get fake plants like what is that gonna do to anybody else you know like get a couple fake plants interchange them and you can keep them forever they're not gonna die on you so yeah <laughs> I am not sure how, but this hack got cut out of the video. I didn't even mention it. So I'm coming in on audio form behind the scenes editing right now. And this hack is one of my favorites because it is using simple stuff like contact paper to redo more ugly surfaces. I don't know if you guys saw on my old channel a while back, I did a video where I redid my orange countertops in my bathroom and I put a new marble contact paper on them, which instantly made the bathroom, I swear, look so much more expensive and so much more beautiful. And the amazing thing about contact paper is that if you are renting a spot or if you just want like a quick and easy change it's something that is not permanent so you can pull it off when you're done with it and you are on your way you're good to go so i love that about it so you can easily cover like a dresser a nightstand whatever it might be to give it a fresh new feel without breaking the bank Second to last hack is one that you might have not thought of before, and it's just to use your personal items as decor. I have a ton of Polaroid pictures. I have a ton of random memorabilia that I really like. And recently I've been putting it on my wall. I have a whole collage wall in my room, which is just my own personal style. It's not everyone's favorite and I know that, but you can create your own like personalized decor using your own things that you have. Polaroid photos are really nice to do this with. Just hang them on the wall as opposed to like shoving them in a drawer or something like that. It instantly fills in blank space and it also shows off more personality more of yourself, more of your friends, your family, your loved ones, whatever it might be in those photos. There are so many things that you might have that you might not have thought to decorate with. Let's say you play the guitar or the ukulele. Those are two really pretty beautiful instruments. You can easily put those on the wall. They have wall mounted guitar stands. They have wall mounted like ukulele stands, violin stands, anything like that. You can use these as little bits of decor in your space that, is, that you already own. So it's not just thrown in the corner. It's not just tossed under your bed. Think about things you have, look around your space. What do you have might look better on the wall. Never know. 
And the last hack in this video is to just declutter your surfaces, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you have a lot of junk on top of your dresser, if you have a lot of junk on top of your uh, desk, if you have a lot of stuff on your nightstands, declutter these spaces because instantly having so much clutter just draws your eye to the clutter and you don't even get a look at anything else that might be beautiful. Like let's say you walk into a room and everything is stunning, but there's a dresser with the most ever stuff on top of it. Papers, bills, mail. That is not a visually appealing look. So shove all that stuff in the drawer, put more decor on top, keep it minimal, keep it fresh, keep it clean. So that was my video today. I feel like I've been talking forever and I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. And I hope that these 10 hacks to a more aesthetic home really helped you guys out or just one or two helps you, you know, anything helps and anything you can add to your personal lifestyle. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to Lone Fox for brand new videos every single week on home decor and home styling and all that sort of fun stuff. You can also follow the Lone Fox home Instagram account for your daily dose of DIY. And yeah, I think that's about all. I don't want to keep you guys for too much longer. So I'll catch you in the next one and have an amazing day. Bye guys.